right. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? I hope all of you are fine and a good health within this pandemic situation. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mamad Davernaldi, and today I'm going to present to you about my report in Senior Mechanical Laboratory class. This presentation will be divided into the following section. The first is the preparation of the experiment, second is the assembly, third is the experiment, fourth is the analysis, and last is the lesson learned and feedback. A brief introduction about Senior Mechanical Laboratory class. So it is a course that teaches the student about experimental investigations involving thermal power and mechanical systems such as fluid machinery, heat exchanger, rotating equipment, and piping system. In this course, the students are asked to make a module of experiment that utilizes the theorem of fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. In this report, the chosen module is steam power plant. The first is the preparation of the experiment. The first is the experiment design step, which is done by uh, generating the ideas, finding the resources, and making the experimental setup and module. The second is the planning of the shipping. It is done by listing the addresses of the group members, listing the available delivery services, including the price, and the last is, this, is to choose by choosing the most suitable delivery, delivery service. The third is the components processing plan, which is done by listing all the experiment components, finding the available shops, whether it is online or offline, and collecting and reporting the invoices obtained. It is the horizontal scheme for the experimental setup. So the components of the experimental setup is consisting of the first is the boiler, second is the thermometer, the third is the pressure gauge, and the fourth is the generator. And here in this part, we will use uh, an elbow pipe, which is used to change the direction from vertical to horizontal. The next is the vertical scheme for the experimental setup. So actually, the component is still the same, which is consists of the boiler, thermometer, pressure gauge, and the generator. The difference, the difference is only that we change the elbow pipe into a straight connection pipe. The next is the shipping cost. The description for the shipping cost is explained by the below table. So for distances from Anji to Dava, the price is about 50,000 rupiahs and from Dava to Chirai is about 100,000 rupiah. And the total shipping cost is 150,000 rupiah. And here are the components that we purchase. And the total cost for the components is uh, about 699,300 rupees. The next sessions we'll talk about assembly. And here is, here is the horizontal scheme for the horizontal scheme assembly. The steps to assembly the Experiment is by using the following steps. The first is prepare all the components. Second is connect the PVC pipes, the white, pi the white pipes with the elbow pipes and the, t and the T pipes. And also don't forget to install the thermometer and also the pressure gauge and the generator. However, because the pressure gauge cannot uh, measure the amount of pressure inside the pipe, we change it into uh, rubber gloves just to make sure whether there is a pressure or cure inside the pipe or no. And the last step is that we need to check the assembly whether it's already well assembled or no. The next is the, next is the vertical scheme assembly, which is consists of the same components. The difference, the difference is only in this part, where the elbow pipe is changed into the straight connection pipe. And the steps are still the same. The first is the is prepare all the components. Second is connecting the PVC pipe with the strap pipe connection and T pipe. Also, don't forget to install the thermometer and also the pressure gauge. And the third is change the pressure gauge into with, with rubber gloves and don't forget to tighten it. And last is check the assembly whether it is already well assembled or no. The next session is the experiments. 
So the first is about the fluid mechanics. So in fluid mechanics, we will analyze the value of pressure at particular location inside the pipe. And the working principle that we use here is the Bernoulli's equations. So Bernoulli's principle states that as speed of a moving fluid increase, whether it is liquid or gas, the pressure within the fluid will, will be decreased. And the formula of the Bernoulli equation is that P over rho G plus V square over 2G plus Z is, a, is constant, where P is the pressure, rho is the density, G is the gravity, and V is the velocity. And also Z is the heat. Fluid mechanics data. Based on the experiments, it is obtained that the pressure gauge cannot treat the value of the pressure. And the reasons for this will be explained in the, at the analysis part. Second is that after changing the pressure gauge with rubber glove, it is obtained that both horizontal and vertical schemes shows positive pressure. As the rubber gloves, gloves sounds to be pops out, that means the, there is pressure uh, with the value of positive. The next is about the heat transfer. So in heat transfer, we are, we are going to find the temperature needed for the water to reach 100 degrees Celsius. And after that, we will utilize it to calculate the convection coefficients of the water and compare it with the actual value. So for heat transfer, we'll use two working principles. The first is the energy balance of closed system. So for energy balance of the closed systems, the amount of energy stored in the closed system is equal to the difference between the heat in and the work out. And the formula is that the Q dot minus work dot is equal to energy stored, dot, uh, where energy stored is equal, equal to rho CV d temperature over dt. And the next working principle is the convection. So convection is the amount of energy transfer between a surface and moving fluid at different temperatures. The formula for convection is that Q dot equal to H8 uh, multiplied by Ts minus T infinity, where H is the convection coefficient, A is the area, Ts is the surface temperature, and T infinity is the temperature of the fluid. Heat transfer data. Based on the experiment, it's obtained that the time needed for the water in horizontal scheme to read 100 degrees Celsius is 360 seconds, while for the vertical scheme is 375 seconds. And the next is the about thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics, we'll use a vapor or steams to produce work and to generate electricity. The working principle used for this part is the ranking Rankine cycle. So Rankine cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that converts heat into mechanical energy. The formula for Rankine cycle is that work dot turbine divided by m dot equals to h1 minus h2, where h1 is the enthalpy of the inlet of the turbine, and h2 is the enthalpy of the outlet of the turbine. The thermodynamics data. So in thermodynamics, the work that produced by the turbine is called as the work out, and the work out can be calculated using the following formula that I already explained before. So in this case, it is summed that the temperature out of the system is equal to the room temperature, which is 27 degrees Celsius. And the mass flow rate of the steam is 1.5 kilogram per second. The value of the enthalpy is obtained from the steam table, table A.2. And here is the sample of calculations. In the sample of calculations, uh, we obtain that the work of the turbine is equal to 188 0.7 kilowatt. And here is the table A.2 that we use for the sample location. And from the sample calculation, we know that the work produced depends on the enthalpy that entering the turbine. And second is that the enthalpy is increasing along with the increasing of temperature. And last is that the work or power is proportional to the voltage produced. In conclusion, the increase in the temperature will cause the increase of the voltage produced by the system. The next session is about the analysis. So the first analysis will be about the fluid mechanics. So here is the horizontal scheme, where point one is the locations of the boiler, and point two is the location of the pressure gauge. 
So here our first step, we will calculate the pressure at point one, so which is the pressure inside of the boiler. We'll use the equation of P1 equals to rho GH tank, and we substitute the value, and we got that the value of the pressure at point one is equal to 0 0.8800 83 Pascal. And we will make point one as the reference location. So the value of G1 is will be equal to zero. And the value for G2 uh, measure from point one is equal to 0 0.08 meter. And here and for the row is we use the density of this of a steam, which is 0 0.6 kilogram per meter cube. And for velocity, we will, we also use the velocity of the steam, which is uh, 40 meter per second. And here we will use the Bernoulli equations, and we, sub, we will substitute all these given parameters. And here we obtain that the pressure at point two is equal to 4.733 Pascal. And the next is the for the vertical seam. So actually, the given parameters is still the same. The difference is only with the Z2 because we know that here we have a vertical schematic. And as a result, the value of G2 will be equal to 0 0.28 meters. And we use the Bernoulli equation again and substitute all the given parameters. And we obtain that the pressure at point 2 is equal to 3.35 Pascal. And the analysis is that from the sample calculations, we can see that the pressure produced by both schematic is positive. And it the and it's also very small, which makes the pressure gauge to be unable to read it. As as we know that the pressure the scale for the pressure gauge is in kilo watt, and here we a eh, kilopascal, and here we only obtain it in pascal. So the value eh, so it's only about zero point zero zero something, which is very small and cannot be read in the pressure gauge. And it can be also seen that seen by the positive value can be the positive value of the pressure can be seen by observing the rebel growth that pops out of the system during the experiment and the next is that besides the sample calculation also shows that the pressure produced by the horizontal schematic is higher than the vertical one vertical one it happens because the pressure pressure will decrease along with the increase of elevations or with the increase of potential energy so it is inversely proportional between the pressure and the potential potential energy. And the next analysis will about the heat transfer. So for heat transfer, both horizontal and vertical scheme will have the same schematic, which is shown by this figure, where the Q input is only from the Q convection, and inside the water there will be a energy an energy store, and we will utilize the energy balance equations and we will substitute the Q with the uh, Q convection and here we assume that there is no work generated. So the value of V dot is equals to zero. And here we will substitute the value of time based on the, the value of the, the value that we obtain from the experiment for horizontal scheme, which is 360 seconds and here we obtain that the value of the H which is the convection coefficient is equal to 138.5 watt per meter square Kelvin and the next is for the vertical so it's the step is actually still the same the difference dot that only we change the value of time into 375 seconds and here we obtain that the value of H is equal to 132.9 watt per meter square Kelvin from the result, we there are some answers that we op, we can obtain. The first is that different that it shows the result shows the different time needed for the water to reach 100 degrees Celsius for the for both vertical and horizontal. The reason for this is because uh, even uh, we use the same boiler for both schematic, and also we also design it to has the same water volume, which is 200 milliliter uh, but as you know that uh, sometimes there, 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 there is a possibility that there are some volume of water that remains inside the boiler and that's why it will increase the amount 
of the water volume inside the boiler that will also increase the time needed for the water to reach 100 degrees Celsius. Another is that different conversion coefficient. It is cost because we has different times needed for the water to reach 100 degrees Celsius. And the last is that the value of conversion coefficient, which the real value or actual value for conversion of liquid force, which is ranging from 100 until 15,000 watt per meter square Kelvin. And next is the thermodynamics. So here is the data of the vertical schematic experiments that we obtain from the experiment. And here is the graph. And from both of these results, it is obtained that the vertical and horizontal schematic give a similar experiments result. And also we can see that the increasing in temperature will cause increasing in voltage produced. And last is that there is some part which is the last minute of experiment that show decreasing of voltage produced while the temperature is still constant. It might happen because the steam produced is decreasing because some of water has thrown into steam that flows out of the system. The next session is about the lesson learned. So in this course, I learned about creativity because uh, we are asked to make to create our own module of experiment. Also from the model experiments, it can enhance our problem solving skills because as you know that during experiment, we will find some difficulties or problems and we, we will require to solve it by ourselves. Unless it's, it is that this course enhancing my engineering skills, specifically for the fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. And the feedback for this course is that this course is very challenging and interesting. Why? Because in this course, we create our own experiments and we find our own problems and we are hit our own solution. And that's why it's really fun and challenging. And I think that's it's all from me. Thank you so much for your kind attention.